a pleasant afternoon in terms of, well, the temperatures are a little warmer than they were a few days ago, right? Let's look on the bright side, right? 38 degrees is the current temperature as we look from Phil Long Signature Kia Camera Motor City, looking back towards downtown and looking back towards the Drake Power Plant. At least it's not snowing quite as much as it was yesterday at this time into the early afternoon. Temperatures are in general sitting in the lower to middle 40s. There are some teens, 20s, and 30s around too. 40 at Colorado Springs at the airport, 40 also in Denver, 43 the current temperature in Pueblo. Somewhat cooler in Walsenburg, you have 31 mid to upper 40s in the Plains. 49 is the warm spot. That's the current temperature in Lamar. Cool spot is not surprisingly Leadville, which has 13 degrees. Salida checks in with 31. Gunnison has 21. Down to Pueblo we go with a Chieftain Studio camera, 6th Street and Midtown Circle. We have temperatures here sitting in the lower 30s as well. Winds out of the 15 miles per hour out of the northwest. You can see those clouds pushing from northwest to southeast as we go through this morning into this afternoon. Not a huge amount of snow attached to them, unlike what we saw yesterday with the heavy snow south of Walsenburg down towards Trinidad caused some real troubles on I-25 and also on some of the highways down there like Highway 10 and Highway 160. Now, though, we're just seeing a few showers off to the west of the divide over towards Interstate 70 and points westward from there towards Grand Junction. We've also seen a little bit of snow off to the west of I-25 towards the Wets and Sangres. That'll continue as it goes through the rest of the afternoon as well. Just isolated pop-up showers, snow showers in this case, of course, are going to continue to make their way through the region. One more possible burst of snow over towards Trinidad and Walsenburg. That's what Skycast is calling for. It looks like a pretty good prediction as we saw that yesterday. We see a similar pattern developing as we go through this afternoon, but the snow totals will not be as high as they were on our Sunday afternoon. There will be more snow off towards the mountain location, so don't be surprised to pick up another three to six to possibly even 12 inches of snow in places off to the west of Leadville to the north and northwest of Salida, and that's what our snow tracker is predicting as we go through the next day or two. Here the areas of the white indicate one to three inches. The areas in the gray indicate less than an inch, and there's a possibility for another inch or so in the northwestern portions, extreme northwestern portions of El Paso County. Then you start getting into the purples and blues. That, of course, indicates three to six and six to 12 inches as possibly over the next 24 to 36 hours. Skycast wind speeds, well, they're going to be high at least through this afternoon into this evening. This is something else to watch out for. Look at your wind speeds by tomorrow at noon. Could be fairly high in the high mountain passes, which means there will be some travel difficulties there as well. Lows tonight on the chilly side, 13 in the Springs, 12 in Pueblo, 14 in Canyon City, mid to upper teens as you head into areas off to the southeastern corner of the state. Temperatures, though, as we go through the seven day forecast, look pretty good. And it's not wall to wall sunshine, but it's at least some sunshine as we go through every day throughout this entire extended forecast. High temperatures are going to cool off as another push of cool air comes into the region late, but overall, I think that we'll take this forecast as we go through our Thanksgiving holiday and beyond. Lows are going to be sitting in the 20s and 30s in the springs. Highs pushing 60 degrees for several days running and getting above it in Pueblo, that 60 degree mark, Thursday all the way through Saturday. Then we drop back into the lower 50s. Canyon City, you'll be sitting in the mid to upper 50s to near 60 on Thursday and Friday as well before you cool off in Teller County. We'll be sitting near 50 and at 50 on Friday for our Black Friday plans. It looks like we'll have to have a jacket in the morning, of course, as we wait for those early bargains. But by the afternoon, you'll be able to toss that jacket aside. Just maybe have a long sleeve shirt on. All right. Sounds pretty good. Thanks, Jay. Well,